Welcome back here to Up North at 4. Jesse Lauren joining us now on the couch because for the first time in three years since 2019, Project North is returning. You guys were on a bit of a hiatus, yes. if you will, but you're going to make the triumphant re-debut next month. What's going That's on? That's a great there? way to put it. Yeah, re-debut. Yep. Re re Perfect. Free, free, feel free to start using that, by the yes. way. Okay. Tagline. Just yeah. Okay. 20% yeah. commission my way. Downtown Rhinelander, um, September 16th and 17th. Um, we're coming back, uh, and we're really excited to bring the music, art, and sustainable-focused event to the mm -hmm. Rhinelander area. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure there's folks out there who maybe have forgotten about Project North or they've never heard about it before. So what is going on? It's two days, right? September 16th and 17th. Mm -hmm. What can people expect with Project North? Sure. Um, it's actually organized by four nonprofits in the area that wanted to put together a community festival. Okay. So it is WXPR, the Rhinelander Chamber, Nicolet College, and Art Start. Nice. Um, we kind of take over part of downtown <laughs> yes. and bring in over 30 different musicians and oh acts to play. Um, there's four different music stages. There's an entire block that's dedicated to sustainable practices, and uh, it's a zero waste event. So oh. 2019, we um, composted over. 300 pounds of waste from the event and saved about 1,500 plastic bottles from being tossed in the trash. Oh my gosh. Um, so art as well. There's activities for different people to take part in or to watch. Um, it's really, it's cool. It's something for everybody. Wow. Any music taste and kids, uh, grown-ups, kids are free. There's lots for kids to do. Yep. Awesome. All right, you take over downtown. Uh, we have lots of people on this couch who talk about, you know, festivals and have food and drinks, that kind of stuff. Um, this one, though, has a message. There's a sustainability message in here. Mm -hmm. And why is that part of this project? You know, w when we were starting to do the plans, we wanted to do something a little bit different and bring something to the Northwoods that people hadn't really seen before. Mm -hmm. And being up here, the natural amenities that we have, we felt, felt like it was really important to be good stewards. Mm -hmm. And that's really kind of where it came from. And um, year one, like, like she said, we didn't allow single-use plastic water bottles. We actually have two water stations on the festival grounds that you can bring your own water bottles and, and refill. Um, so we don't do that. Um, all of our food vendors use compostable materials. Mm. Um, so we try to compost as much of the food waste as we can. Um, and you said it was about 300, 300 pounds of composted um, waste. And I think only 20 pounds actually went to the landfill. So, stuff wow. that we couldn't um, right, right. compost. Actually, Stewards compost. of the environment. What a yeah. great message that is. I was yeah. going to say, I think it's really cool because it's one thing to sort of talk about this message and yeah. to say, you know, we need to be more sustainable. It's another thing to do it and to mm -hmm. plan a whole event around this. Is that, I mean, I'm sure there was maybe a few added obstacles with that, but it's got to pay off, right? Yeah, we're always learning about how we can do it better, um, and we're, we'll continue, I think, to put more things into place, but um, to hear each each time from the Eco Village, the, the speakers that we bring in, um, I do know that they're planning to have a, a panel that's focusing on our water issues mm -hmm. and, and water. So we're always learning and, and trying to continually improve, but um, we're excited. Yeah. Well, let's talk music and art. <laughs> All right. What are some groups there this year? Uh, Chicago Farmer is one of the main headliners. Um, the People Brothers Band. There's really something for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's anything from there's a metal stage in the basement of the Masonic Lodge. Oh my God. Uh, in the basement, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Perfect. Our, our basement yeah. stage. <laughs> to, to bluegrass, to country, Americana. Um, there's some like R&B in there as well. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you pick the music, and we've got something for you. Yeah. There's going to be um, a rapper there that that's for kids. And so, um, yeah. Children's rapping. Yeah. Children's yeah. Rapper. Art starts involved as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Have some displays out, or how does that work? A so I, I actually wanted to bring up some of the stuff on my phone just to make sure I could share how Please. cool some of this stuff okay. is. So um, we're bringing in, it's called Wow Metal Work um, with artist Sarah Hansen. So she is a workshop on wheels. It's an old city bus turned into a metal casting studio and museum. Wow. And cool. she'll be doing a few different um, mold making and molten metal um, kind of like workshops mm -hmm. on Friday and mm -hmm. Saturday that you can check out. Um, we'll have the Three Rivers Fiber Shed coming in doing a mending bar. So clothing is uh, something that a lot of people throw away. Yes. Rather yeah, than um, throwing it away, we're urging people to bring in, learn some mending skills, repair, w working with others to repair your clothing mm. rather than 
putting that in the landfill. I never thought of that. I never would have Yeah, either. and and then School of the Arts, which Melinda shared a few weeks ago yep. with you guys, um, they're also going to have some pop-up workshops um, on the Art Star Outdoor stage. Um, we have an immersive short film um, that you can check out at WXPR, and then there's going to be like a 10-second film festival, which Ooh. we'll be putting out there. Love this. Um, songwriting contest, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of everything. Yes, it's, it's, sure. it's, it's so cool. I think <laughs> Jeff and I might have to uh, yeah. enter We're the going. songwriting <laughs> contest. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be any good, but uh, we appreciate you guys. It sounds like a super fun event, and I'm sure we'll be chatting more in the future. But in the sounds meantime, good. we'll have to take a break here in Up North at 4. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs>